We, ladies and gentlemen of the human race, are now at a point of danger and opportunity. If people go on sitting on their arse and acquiescing, woof, woof, yes, sir. If people think it's bad now, whoa, what? They've not even started yet. And I've been saying in the last 30 years to people who laughed in my face, you go and look at your children and your grandchildren in the eye and you justify to them you doing nothing. Because if you think it's bad for you, just have some imagination and see the world of total, utter control, dystopia, that your children and your grandchildren are going to live in. And you come and tell me then that you're not prepared to get off your ass, to stop thinking about consequences. I'll give you bloody consequences in where we're going if we do not put aside, yeah, but what are the consequences for me? What are the consequences of you not doing it? We have to stop acquiescing to this cult. We are at a pivotal point in the history of the human race, literally. Because there will be no human race as we know it if we don't get our asses in gear now, worldwide. We got into this frickin' mess through acquiescence to power. Most of that power, all of that power, is simply our perception that it has power. So if we got into this mess by acquiescing to the illusion of power, what's the frickin' answer? Ceasing to do so. And then we'll see where the real power is. And it's not with the few. There are a lot of people whose perceptions of the world will have changed in the last three weeks. They will have realized that they can't just wave away the idea that a few people are running the world to a very malevolent end because they're watching it unfold in front of their eyes. And um, we will see in the weeks to come what impact that mass realization of what we're dealing with and what this world is will have in its impact upon um, what people do and how people cease to acquiesce to power or the perception of power because that's all it is. We are in a position here where this could be the turning point when humanity got off its fricking knees. They seem to be dealing with an all-powerful force. And when they looked behind the curtain, it was an old bloke who had no power at all. And this cult expresses its power by persuading the target population that it has power. Its power is in our acquiescence to that illusion of power. We now have the chance to break the spell, to break the mind spell and see behind the curtain. And what we'll find is something that's not powerful at all once we stop acquiescing to it. It's where I want things to go, but it's also where I know things can go. The only way they can control humanity is to put humanity in a smaller box than they're in. That's how they've done it. And when humanity steps out of the box and realizes its true identity, which is a state of infinite awareness, which these pillocks aren't, then they're in a box. We are expanded consciousness well beyond the box. And they become powerless to that. They have to put us in a smaller box than they're in. That's what they've done. And they, they could not do it without it. 
once, once we open our eyes, we open our minds, we open our hearts, the walls of the prison, the walls of the bubble, the walls of the box, whatever you want to talk about, just fade away. And we become the true power that we really are, all of us. And the way they have controlled us is by blocking out that expansion of true self and locked us away in a bubble. We self-identify with labels, we self-identify with um, our life stories and our race and our sexuality and all that stuff. They're just experiences. And they keep us in the bubble when we think that's the I. And that's, so we're in the bubble, they're in a slightly bigger bubble, and so they control. When we realize the true nature of what we are, which is consciousness, eternal, exploring, forever consciousness, having a brief experience called human, and we tap into that infinite creativity, power, and open our, our hearts. And when you open your heart, it's not just to love, not, not I love you darling, saw you down the disco love. I mean, real love in its infinite, unconditional sense. What you're doing is you're tapping in to a level of consciousness that does not have something which is the very foundation of human control. It does not have fear. So, I am a unique expression of all that is, has been, and ever can be. I will go on exploring forever, forever. This is just a brief experience. What is there to fear? Nothing. And when you lose fear, you do what you know to be right without asking the question, which is fear asking the question. This is what I know I need to do, but what are the consequences for me? It's asking about the consequences, which is fear asking the question, that leads to people not doing what they know to be right. Once you open that and you go beyond fear, then you don't ask about consequences. You just do what you know to be right. And you know something, this cult is terrified of that. It's terrified of fearless people because fear is its currency of control. And if people are not fearful, it has lost its currency of control. And that's why I have more power than they have. Because you know something? They are consumed by fear. And their biggest fear, because it's over then, is humanity awakening to what the frickin' hell is really going on and who is really in control. They can only control by their target population being in ignorance of that. Once we realize their game is over, put aside fear. Stop asking about consequences and you will see where the real power is. Do what you feel to be right. Do what you know to be right. And you will make a unique contribution because that's what you are, unique contribution to getting out of this. But acquiescence is not an option because acquiescence is how we got here. We can disagree on the way we see the world and be in perfect harmony with each other. Because no matter what our labels and the divisions and the fault lines that are used to divide us, this cult has every single one of us in its gun sight. Can you not see that now? Hindus are locked down, Christians are locked down, Jews are locked down. Hello? Let this be the time when we see the fallacy and the farce of allowing ourselves to be divided and ruled by our beliefs and our belief in I am right and therefore no one else should be able to have a different opinion to me because that's how the cult works. Plays groups off against each other, sets them at war with each other and if they just looked up, they'd realize that the same hands 
are holding all the strings while we fight down here. Let's come together, realize what's going on and where this is going, and cease to be divided and ruled. We're in this together and we'll get out of it together.